My name is Bao Xu Pang. I'm originally from China. Currently, I'm a postdoc working at Division of Cell Biology 2, the Netherlands Cancer Institute, Antony van Leeuwenhoek, second house. I won the ABL Prize because we have defined a novel mechanism of a most commonly used anti-cancer drug called doxorubicin. It's well known that doxorubicin can target topo isomerase and induce DNA double-strand breaks, and people believe it's the major mechanism of action of these drugs. However, in the clinic and in the research, there are other anti-cancer drugs targeting topo isomerase and induce DNA double-strand breaks in a similar fashion, but they are not as efficient as doxorubicin, the reason of which is still puzzling. We found is that besides inducing DNA double-strand breaks, doxorubicin can also induce histone eviction from chromatin. As a result, on the one hand, DNA double-strand break repair is attenuated. On the other hand, the transcription regulation of the cells is also uh, scrambled. And those two mechanisms combining together make doxorubicin a very efficient anti-cancer drugs, but also has strong side effects like cardiotoxicity. So first of all, our research has defined a novel mechanism of action of an anti-cancer drug. And this mechanism has never been discovered before. And it may promise a new line of drug discovery. Secondly, our research may be used for personalized use of these anti-cancer drugs. Because we realize that different anthracycline uh, family members like doxorubicin, donorubicin, they may sense different area in the, in the genome, hence kill cancer selectively. Thirdly, it's well known that doxorubicin can induce cardiotoxicity, the reason of which is unknown. Our research suggests that doxorubicin induced persistent DNA damage and transcription change may be the reason why patients receive uh, these drugs have cardiotoxicity. For the price money, I think I will go for some conferences and to expand my knowledge, not only in cancer biology, but maybe other fields. Field like personalized medicine or genetic sequencing, which I think eventually will also benefit my research. I have been always fascinated by biology and the part of discovery, especially when you realize that you are the first one in the world to know and understand something, makes me so happy.